Welcome back to the channel YouTube. I'm here with another video guys and y'all can see what I got behind me guys. My Infiniti Q60. For those who don't know, yes I bought this car. If y'all haven't watched my last video, go ahead and check out my last video guys. I took delivery of the Q60 3.0T and today guys I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a review. Before we get into that guys, what I need y'all to do is smash the like button. So my like goal on my last video, me buying this car, was 100 likes. And we surpassed that. So I want to say I thank y'all. So guys, my like goal on this video, and let's go ahead and hit 150 likes, man. I believe we can go ahead and hit that. So go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel and share this video. But yeah, guys, today I want to go ahead and give y'all an MDEF review of my new baby. Black on black. Sheesh. I can't believe I own it. It's, it's finally hitting me though. It's finally hitting me now, guys, that you know I own it, that it's actually mine. It's in my driveway. Man, what y'all think, man? Y'all gotta let me know down in the comments below. But I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a review, because that's probably why y'all clicked this video. So starting off, guys, we're gonna talk about the tires that the car came with. So they gave me Continental, guys, all around brand new tires guys when I say it's brand new brand new Continental Sports and the size of these tires I believe they are 255's let me show you it's 255 4019's all around my friend who got the BMW he was like yeah man bro you got a steal they gave me brand new tires all around so I do appreciate them for that but yeah all around 255 4019s. I want to go ahead and actually do get bigger tires in the back because this is real wheel drive and I'm gonna start going ahead and do performance mods so you know I'm gonna need them them big tires in the back so man y'all just gotta stay tuned for the content that I got. 255 all around. I do like the rims guys actually. Um, I don't know I think I got the sport model I'm, I'm not even sure the premium guys I'm not even too sure which like trim level Q60 I have I know this is the base model um, but I don't see like most Q60s come with these uh, set of rims and these are hard to me like I, I actually like those those are those are real tough the front grill my front emblem lights up I didn't know that I took a picture and I seen it was lit up. I did not know that it light up. We got to go ahead and change that. I want to go ahead and have it so where I could put like um, different colors and stuff like that. So y'all, that's going to be on the way too. But yeah, this lights up. Let me go ahead and show y'all the new, the new LED lights. Y'all can kind of see. But yeah, the lights on here is hard. It does come with the fog lights down at the bottom. Yeah, man, the front grill on this thing is looks aggressive. The favorite part that I like about this car is the tail lights. Like me, the tail lights just hits different. Like especially at night when it's lit up, you wouldn't even expect this car to be at infinity the way it's looking from the rear. Like the rear of this car is is phenomenal. What I need to do is I need to go ahead and take all these these chrome trims off. Like all everything that y'all see chrome, guys, I need to go ahead and put black. I need to go ahead and put black. Um, I'm fine with the rims right now. I'm not too worried about changing them just because I like these stock rims. I actually do like these stock rims like I was saying. So I'm not going to go ahead and probably change those for a, a while. Um, but yeah. I see the design and the mirrors. I want to go ahead and get the M, M style mirrors I believe they called. If I'm not mistaken y'all can quote me if I'm wrong. I believe they called the M style uh, mirrors. I want to go ahead and get carbon fiber. I do know this one, this one guy, his name is, I think it's Jalisco Carbon Fiber. And he sells, you know, parts for the Infinities, like the front splitter, spoiler, and the rear diffuser. So I will be going ahead and order for him very soon. So that's why I say, guys, y'all have to go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now, man. I'm excited for this build. Uh, I've been wanting this car for eight months and I finally got it. So yeah, I just gotta stay tuned. Paint on this thing too is crazy. 
I believe they went ahead and they already kind of gave me a little coating too. Like there's no swirls on my paint. No swirls at all. It's kind of dirty right now though. Just because I had to drive it from where I bought it from. I actually bought it 35 minutes from my house. So that wasn't even too far. Seen a lot which was out of state. Which a lot of people were telling me um, I should go ahead and buy from out of state. So I was happy. I wasn't fortunate to find one that was local. So yeah, man, I, I went ahead and copped this thing, like I said, 30 minutes from my house. Um, but yeah, it does come with the sunroof, is which I've been wanting for a long time, guys. A sunroof, and I finally got one. Uh, the first Q60 that I really was car shopping and I was looking at was the same, just like this. It was black on black. It didn't have these rims, though. It didn't have these rims. Like, that's why I say, guys, I don't know. Y'all got to let me know. For those that know, is this like a sport model or something like that? Because I, I don't rarely see these rims on Q60. So, um, y'all just got to let me know. But the first one I was looking at was black on black with no sunroof. And I was like, man, I need one with a sunroof. And, guys, here you go. I had it. Okay, so coming into the inside, black leather, man. The previous owner they took care of this car so pretty much they gave me this car um in great condition y'all see leather still looking nice these seats are very comfortable these seats are very comfortable by the way too guys to me being that coupe it kind of got a lot of room i'm only like five nine i'm five nine i got a lot of room so um yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for you guys. Show y'all the screen display. It's doing very well on gas, guys. It's doing very well on gas. I believe right now I'm averaging 18 miles per gallon in the city. So I mean that's not that's not bad. But um one thing about it though, guys, in the Q60, there's no backroom, guys. So if y'all are you know interested in getting the Q60, just be prepared that there's no backroom. There's no back room at all, especially on my side because my seat is all the way back. Nobody can sit behind me. But yeah, let me go ahead and give y'all a start up. Show y'all how, you know, the stock exhaust sound on this car. Pretty quiet. That's one thing I wish, you know, this car came with. Just a, a little, you know, louder exhaust. But um, we can go ahead and probably do an exhaust, cat back exhaust. Um, I know for a fact I'm going to do a muffle delete. Muffle delete. I know I'm talking pretty fast, but uh, I'm going to do a muffle delete, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and pop the hood for y'all. It comes with 300 horsepower stock. Clean engine bay, man. Check it out. When I didn't know um, nothing really about these cars, the Q60s, the first Q6 I drove was a 2.0T. <laughs> and they clowned me in the comments, man. Let's talk about, you know, I was gonna lose to the cores and all that, man. And but nah, this is a 3.0T. I had I had to make sure it was a it was a 3.0T. I need to probably go ahead soon and upgrade my brakes and my rotors, but I did see on the Carfax that they changed, you know, everything. So everything is pretty much brand new on this car. The brakes, the tires, the rotors. I gotta let me know what y'all think. What y'all think about the chrome? Y'all gotta let me know down in the comments below. What y'all think about the chrome? Well, yeah, let me start it up one more time. I meant to go ahead and show y'all the little performance screen that they have in here. I didn't even know they had it in this car. Let me start it one more time. So there you go. This start our display 180 on the dash let me zoom in for y'all 180 on the dash let me turn this down i turn my screen now because it's be bright at night but um okay so it's loading all the apps menu switch press and hold the menu switch okay so it's back on so let me go ahead and show y'all all right uh, where is it at again? It's not drive mode enhancement. Man, did I forget where where to go? I know I didn't. Okay, it's right here. Here you go. Infinity drive mode select. There. I can put the, the engine, transmission, 
is in sport the steering wheel is in sport active trace control is off okay so this is what I wanted to show y'all the infinity intuition not that what are you talking about um, it's driving performance my bad guys my bad but see we got a couple performance you know little pages fuel consumption fuel flow um, see so yeah, right now I'm currently averaging 18.3 miles per gallon then we have another screen right here okay yeah and then also I can see my fuel economy too like bigger where is it at let me go ahead and find it I still haven't learned like all the settings in this car guys I've been just you know very exciting just driving it man I need I need to take some time probably later today and just come in here and just fidget with all the screen displays and everything but um yeah clean interior guys the previous owner they took care of this car so I got a steal that's pretty much it man I gave y'all an in-depth review of my Infiniti Q60 finally got my hands on one and I'm very proud of myself and guys I want to go ahead and thank y'all for you know for those that showed y'all support on my last video you know congratulating me man and liking the video it meant a lot it meant a lot because without y'all without you know the ones my day ones that's around me you know I this wouldn't be possible guys so I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart but I came up on the end of this video. Hopefully, I enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for, like I said, the more content that I'll be having for this car. I got, I got a lot of stuff to do, guys. So, y'all just stay tuned. Smash the like button if you haven't already. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I'm gone. Peace out.